Have you ever pondered the importance and benefits of growing cauliflower in your vegetable garden? This cruciferous vegetable, often overshadowed by its green cousin broccoli, is a powerhouse of nutrients and deserves a spot in your garden and on your plate. Cauliflower is a versatile vegetable that can be used in a myriad of dishes. From roasted cauliflower steaks to mashed cauliflower as a low-carb alternative to potatoes, the possibilities are endless. You can even make cauliflower rice or use it as a pizza crust. It's a wonderful way to add more vegetables to your meals, especially for those who are cautious about their carbohydrate intake. But the versatility of cauliflower extends beyond its culinary uses. This humble vegetable is packed with nutritional benefits. It is an excellent source of vitamins and minerals, including vitamin C, K and B6, as well as folate and pantothenic acid. It's also rich in fiber, which aids in digestion and helps to keep you feeling full. If that's not enough, cauliflower contains antioxidants that are known to reduce inflammation and protect against several diseases, including heart disease and cancer. Growing cauliflower in your garden not only provides you with a fresh, nutrient-rich food source, but also contributes to a healthier environment. Home gardening reduces the need for transportation and the associated carbon emissions involved in getting produce from the farm to your table. It also allows you to control what goes into your soil and onto your plants, ensuring that your cauliflower is as organic and pesticide-free as possible. The satisfaction of nurturing a plant from seed to harvest is a joy that every gardener can attest to. It's a rewarding process that connects us to the earth and reminds us of the simple yet profound cycle of life. Now that we know why it's beneficial to grow cauliflower, let's dive into how you can grow it in your own garden. The first step to growing cauliflower in your garden is choosing and preparing your seeds. Choosing the right cauliflower seeds is like selecting the best ingredients for a recipe. You want high-quality seeds that promise a bountiful yield. When shopping for seeds, look for those labeled as disease-resistant. These types have been bred to resist common pests and diseases, giving your cauliflower plants a fighting chance from the get-go. Also, consider the variety. Cauliflower comes in a range of types, each differing in size, color and flavor. The snowball variety, for instance, is known for its early maturity and compact size, perfect for small gardens. The graffiti variety, on the other hand, produces vibrant purple heads, bringing a pop of color to your garden and your dinner plate. Once you've got your seeds, it's time for the preparation. This includes soaking and germination. Soaking your seeds before planting can speed up germination. Simply place your seeds in a bowl of room temperature water and let them sit for about 12 to 24 hours. But remember, don't leave them in water for too long as this can cause them to rot. After soaking, it's time for germination. This is the process where the seeds sprout and begin to grow. To germinate your seeds, place them on a damp paper towel, fold it over and put it inside a sealed plastic bag. Then place the bag in a warm area away from direct sunlight. After a few days, you should see tiny sprouts emerging from the seeds. Once your seeds have sprouted, they're ready to be planted, but don't rush to put them in the ground just yet. You'll want to wait until they've grown a bit more and developed their first set of true leaves. This will give your cauliflower plants a stronger start once they're in the garden. With your seeds chosen and prepared, you're ready to move on to the next step, planting. Now that your seeds are ready, it's time to get them in the ground. The first thing you'll want to consider is the location. Cauliflower, like its cruciferous cousins, thrives in cooler climates, but it also needs plenty of sunshine. Therefore, a spot that offers full sun exposure during the cooler parts of the day is ideal. Also, ensure the soil is well drained. Soggy soil can lead to root diseases that can wreak havoc on your crop. Next, let's talk about depth and spacing. Plant your cauliflower seeds about a quarter to a half inch deep. This is not very deep, so be mindful not to bury them. As for spacing, aim to space your seeds about 18 to 24 inches apart. This might seem like a lot, but remember, cauliflower plants need room to grow and spread out. You don't want your plants competing for nutrients and sunlight. Once you've planted your seeds, cover them lightly with soil. Now on to the next important step, watering. Watering your seeds right after planting is crucial. It helps settle the soil around the seeds and triggers them to begin germination. However, be careful not to overwater. A light, gentle watering is all that's needed. How much water does your cauliflower need going forward? Well, that's a good question. 
Cauliflower prefers consistent moisture, so try to keep the soil evenly damp but not waterlogged. Usually, an inch or two of water per week should suffice. It's also worth noting that cauliflower can be a bit of a diva when it comes to its growing conditions. It doesn't like too much heat, it's not a fan of sudden cold snaps, and it definitely doesn't appreciate being crowded. But with a bit of care and attention, you can create the perfect environment for your cauliflower to flourish. With your seeds in the ground and well watered, the next step is to nurture them as they grow. Your cauliflower journey is just beginning and the rewards of your labor will be well worth the effort. So let's move on to the next phase of caring for your growing cauliflower plants. Growing cauliflower requires patience and care, but the rewards are well worth it. As your little green sprouts begin to unfurl their leaves, it's important to give them the attention they need to flourish. Watering is a crucial part of this care routine. Cauliflowers prefer moist but not waterlogged soil. A good rule of thumb is to water deeply once or twice a week rather than little and often. This encourages the roots to grow down into the soil, making the plants more resilient and better at finding their own water supply. Weeds can be a nuisance, competing with your cauliflower for nutrients and space. Regular weeding is essential to ensure that your cauliflower plants get all the sustenance they require to grow. A simple hand pull of the weeds is usually sufficient, but make sure you get the root to prevent them from making an unwelcome return. Pests are another challenge that your cauliflower plants may encounter. Caterpillars, aphids and slugs are particularly fond of these leafy greens. It can be helpful to introduce natural predators, such as ladybugs for aphids, into your garden. Alternatively, safe and organic pesticides can be used to combat these pests. As your cauliflower plants grow, they'll begin to form heads, the part of the plant we eat. It's important to protect these heads from the sun to prevent them from turning yellow and developing an off flavor. You can do this by tying the outer leaves over the head, a process known as blanching. Recognizing when your cauliflower is ready to harvest can be a bit tricky. Generally, you want to wait until the heads are compact, firm and white or cream colored. They should be about 6 to 8 inches in diameter. Once they reach this size, you can cut the heads off with a sharp knife, leaving a few of the outer leaves attached to protect it. With the right care, your cauliflower plants will thrive and produce a bountiful harvest. With patience and diligence, your garden will be graced with these delightful veggies ready for roasting, grating into cauliflower rice or adding to your favorite recipes. Growing your own cauliflower can be a rewarding and delicious endeavor. We've walked you through the journey from understanding the importance of having this versatile vegetable in your garden to finally nurturing it to maturity. Let's take a moment to review what we've learned. First, we delved into why cauliflower deserves a spot in your garden. Not only is it packed with nutrients and health benefits, but it also adds a beautiful touch of white and green to your garden landscape. Next, we discussed the importance of choosing and preparing your cauliflower seeds. Remember, the quality of your seeds can greatly impact the success of your garden. It's important to choose seeds from a reliable source and prepare them properly by soaking them in water for 12 to 24 hours before planting. Once your seeds are ready, we moved on to the actual planting process. The ideal time to plant your cauliflower seeds is in the early spring or fall when the weather is cool but not freezing. Plant the seeds about half an inch deep and three inches apart in a location that receives at least six hours of sunlight each day. After planting, the real work begins. Caring for your cauliflower plants requires regular watering, especially during dry periods, to ensure they get enough moisture. It's also crucial to protect your plants from pests and diseases, and to provide them with the nutrients they need by adding compost or a slow-release fertilizer to the soil. The process of growing cauliflower may seem daunting at first, but with patience and care, you'll be rewarded with a bountiful harvest. Imagine the satisfaction of cooking a meal with cauliflower you've grown yourself. It's a taste that's hard to beat. So, there you have it. From seed selection to harvest, we've covered the essentials of growing cauliflower in your garden. With these steps, you're well on your way to producing your own cauliflower crop. Happy gardening!